wait. This place, it's familiar. What about it? It looks pretty normal to Paimon. Was it like this hundreds of years ago, too? Yes. The forest has barely changed from how I remember it. There is very little human activity here, after all. Let's search the area and see what we can find. Is this... a field? It must belong to whoever owns that house over there. But it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. You could be forgiven for thinking nothing was ever grown here. Or... wait... Maybe nothing ever was grown here. It's an extinguished bonfire. Forest rangers, perhaps? Looks like it's been ages since it was last lit. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire, too. That's responsible. Okay, something is odd about here because I just... First of all, we don't actually have to do two pages to look up three objects. We only right away. And I think we actually can see a progress in story-wise. Story, story thing to see. We don't need to actually go check this tree. Although Paimon kind of, you know, the annoying part that she has to say anything out loud. Nothing else stands out in this area. All that's left is that building. Come on. Wait, we're just going to go barging in? What if someone's home? Unlikely. There are no signs of life in this area. We should be able to enter without incident. If you say so, well, uh, you lead the way then, Dane. <laughs> what did you say then about no life around here? Never mind. Investigate carefully. We mustn't miss a single detail. Hey, look! It's a bowl! Guess whoever used to live here liked to cook, huh? Okay, why did the, the ambush sound uh, play? Because usually that means uh, he is attacked or something. Can't you smell it? There's a heavy scent of medicinal herbs in here. So it's a medicine ball? Hmm. Seems you're right. You've got a good nose on you, Dane. This bed looks pretty ordinary. Huh. There's nothing underneath it either. What sort of person would want to live here? It's so dark and damp. Can't be all that comfortable. I think we all know what... Oh, hang on. Did I clip to the box? Yeah, I kinda clip it. There's a box over here. Why don't we open it? Uh, and by we, Paimon means you. Paimon's just scared that whatever's inside might bite her fingertips off. I really want to know what's going inside her head. Because I bet we all know that she's gonna be some kind of plot twist or something. Disappointing. Paima was 
hoping we'd uncover some super big secret. Especially after Dane talked this place up. Doesn't look like there's anything else worth our attention here. You sure we're in the right place, Dane? My memories are quite foggy, but my subconscious and instincts both assert that something once happened here. But we'll exhaust ourselves if we search aimlessly. Hmm. I hear noises outside. Let's go and check. Noises? Is it... It's not much. Just some minor adversaries. Ancient power. Hey, let's get it on. You're dead meat. Yeah. I doubt that the appearance of those monsters was wholly random. There must be something nearby that attracted them. A ley line anomaly, perhaps. Hmm. But it seems to be more than that. Okay. I'll go slightly further out to investigate any issues with the nearby ley lines. I might be a while. You should wait for me here. What? You're going alone? You better not be trying to keep some secret from us. Your suspicions are as banal as they are unwarranted. I merely think that this house should remain the focus of our investigation. And as such... Someone ought to stay here and keep an eye on it. Not to mention that if even forest rangers are capable of investigating ley lines, I will be more than able to handle it alone. Uh, fair enough. Guess we'll just camp out here then. Good thing there's a fireplace over there. Let's make ourselves something to eat. All this running around has made Paimon real hungry. Okay, they shall do your thing. <sighs> Their cooking is as good as ever. Even if there was no other reason, the food alone would be enough for Paimon to stick with you. <laughs> Changing the subject, Dane's taking forever. He said that there might be an issue with the nearby ley lines. How bad do you think it could be? <sighs> we came together, but now it's back to just being the two of us again. You know, now that Baima mentions it, we really have spent lots and lots of time together, haven't we? You don't say. So, don't take this the wrong way or anything, but... Uh, do, do you ever get tired of Paimon being around? Do you really want to answer that? <sighs> okay, fine. Paimon should have known you weren't going to say anything nice. Hmm. So, um, next question. Don't know if it's okay to ask this, but... Paimon's curious. What was it like traveling with your sister? Now you're asking me about this? Like, why? Actually, why do we, we don't have, like, an interlude chapter between Manset and Lear and have this kind of conversation? And, yeah, you can see that Paimon can... I think in the start of the game, Paimon actually say that we kind of learn a little from her watching you already before we actually start traveling to Manset. Maybe I can remember that right. 
Are you gonna talk about it? The stars? We didn't see and we didn't say anything. Okay, this is like the major issue with this game. They want to have the cake and eat it too. The travel is a cat on its own. It's not a blank character. And now you actually ask us different... To be honest, I feel that this answer is gonna affect the ending in some way. Not much, but I can feel it. understands being separated without even knowing the reason why it's just terrible but we'll find the truth together sure as paimon's your guide just you wait heavenly principles and you too to that ah oh, we actually mentioned kiara really really can you actually have tried different things? Really, you just copy paste this. Uh, you know what? We've talked too long about this sad stuff. Let's talk about something happy instead, because if you're sad, Paimon will be too. Alright, alright, it's getting dark, so why don't you rest? Paimon will take first watch. Don't worry, no monster's gonna come and eat you up. And yet we forget that, that we have a magic teacup that kind of works like our home. Uh, again, feature, feature, but nothing to do in the story. Nighty night. Go on, chew. Off to sleep. Hey. Time to wake up. The sun has risen. What a deep sleeper. You do know that we need to... Hmm? Tear stains. You dreamed of your sibling last night, didn't you? All right. Rest here a bit longer, then. I'll head into the forest to investigate. Okay, I think I have a feeling. This is a dream sequence. Because every time Bama is not around, that means it's something else. We are now in the body of the sibling, now to say. What was that sound? Again, game. You're the most profitable game in the whole world. Even with an anime that coming soon. I swear, if the anime is gonna have the two be inside all the time, I don't care. But here, at least. I mean, you don't have to dub every line he says, but 
So far, considered how big the game is gonna be, be, be in memory, at least try to have the voice acting for Traveler 2, if you're still gonna add it. doing what wait who is this one this place is not whatever you think it is nor should you be poking your nose into my business be gone is this a what is called uh says or not another says you know is this one Kanye? Because Kanye looks like all, a fusion of the two. Your travel companion? You mean the one that was keeping watch by your side last night? <laughs> oh, look at the eyes. So I guess this is a Kanye. Your companion departed for the forest early this morning. That much I saw with my own eyes. What business is that of yours, hmm? All you need to know is that I claimed this place first, and what I do here is none of your concern. Do I make myself quite clear? Leave. Well, what are you waiting for? <sighs> if you must, suit yourself. <laughs> okay, he's a bad guy. By the voice alone. I've been observing you. And you don't look like a forest ranger, nor someone from the academia. Still, I'm warning you, no funny business. Promise me that, and you can do as you please. <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever. Just move aside. I'm heading in. You... <sighs> oh, go on then. Have it your way. I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide this anyway. Just, just come in. But no overreacting to anything you see in here, okay? You understand me? Come on then. Feel for a moment, I thought I was gonna see some kind of monster. Is that a Healy? I legit, I was looking at this angle and oh, nothing else. But then when I move the camera a little. Mm. Mind your own business. And don't worry, he isn't aggressive. <laughs> How could he be? He was too young for anything like that. So don't you lay a finger on him. Just find yourself a corner to rest if you're tired or cold. So basically from what we know, all Kanye are turning to monsters. Or most of them, right? Huh? You know Conria? Who are you? Exactly. And how do you know I'm from Conria? I 
I don't think the clothes are actually really giving the... Actually, maybe a little if you actually look close and remember from way along. But the eyes are like a giveaway. <sighs> Do you worship a god, traveler? My false really? Um, I, to me, I really not so like. Imagine after all this time, after years, when we actually gonna reach the climax of the story, all the choices we did all throughout the journey, they're gonna affect a little. Maybe not much, but a little. <clears throat> Sounds like you've had an eventful life. <laughs> all right. Well, um, my name is Ida, and. You are correct. I was once Conrian. Uh, oh, I, I apologize for my earlier hostility, but you must understand, as, as far as I'm concerned, humans who do not worship the Seven are nigh extinct. And all who place faith in the gods are my enemies. Didn't we just say we are friends with Sam's? Like, isn't this really actually worse? Like, not only that we... Actually, it's worse that we are friends with the gods and not worship them? Maybe? That may be. But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been... few and far between since the Cataclysm. This wretched curse of immortality. I, who knows how long I must continue to suffer like this. The curse. <laughs> it, it was a, a little gift. Given to the people of Conria by those vile gods. We lost our home. Our loved ones. Everything. The agony of the cataclysm itself was already too much to bear. But then came the curse robbing us. Any chance of release. All we can do is watch helplessly as our souls erode and our bodies decay okay i'm not sure i actually have to have the mouse on the pause menu because i don't know when the travel start to tackle him they may not be a choice Maybe I don't want to actually lose a line important now. Because, although Conria began with a single bloodline, it was a home to others too. Any who forsook their gods and came to Conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens. When the Cataclysm came, we pure blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners. Upon us, the gods placed the curse of immortality. But those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness as they fled, turning them into monsters. Is this uh, a loved one of you? He is Kari Bear, my illegitimate son. Oh, Kari Bear? Because that's like the name of this chapter called. 